Hey, what's up, guys? It's XX Modern Warfare Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken here. Welcome to another video, uh, and welcome to JTAG Tutorials Episode One. In uh, this video, we're looking at installing XCX Menu 1.1. So basically, what I've done here is I've gone back for this whole set of tutorials. I've gone back to uh, stage one, basically, with uh, my uh, reset glitch at console here. I have nothing on it. I've stripped it of of uh, XCX Menu. I've stripped it of um, freestyle dash and dash launch and all that stuff it's all gone it's like i've just reset glitched hat my console or i've just bought a reset glitched hat console from someone and it's just arrived and it's got nothing on it so uh, that's the stage we want to be at here so basically first off for installing it it's menu 1.2 you can use either um there's different ways of installing it on. You can uh, use a USB stick, which is the way I'm going to show you because it's the most common way, I think. It's the most common thing you people will have will be a USB stick, probably. Um, but you can also use an Xbox 360 hard drive transfer cable uh, if it's one of the fat Xboxes. Or you can actually hook your Xbox hard drive up directly to your computer using a uh, SATA data and SATA power cable. Uh, from your computer so you can do it that way but I'm going to show you the USB method because it's probably the um, most common way so we go to system we go to storage we plug our USB stick in we uh, configure now and um, just wait a minute and then once it's configured we click OK and it's now a memory unit for the Xbox 360. Okay, so now we're going to move over to the computer and show you how to install XCX menu onto this configured USB stick Okay, so once you're on your computer, what you want to do is um, plug in your USB stick that you configured for the Xbox, or if you're using a hard drive transfer cable, then um, connect that up to your computer. And if you're using direct SATA connection, then make sure you have the SATA data and SATA power cables connected to the Xbox hard drive. So, um, so with USB method, what we're going to do is we're going to ignore this because it's configured, so it's not going to let us explore the device properly. Uh, we're going to go onto Google and click the link in the description because in the description of this video there is a link to uh, the download for XCX Menu 1.2. So this is the link here. Uh, it will be in the description, so just click it. Uh, then you want to click download right here and you'll be able to download it. And once it has finished downloading, I have it here. Um, once it's finished downloading, uh, you want to open up the RAR archive and extract it. It's code 9999. 9999, I think, four nines. Um, and then in here, you've got 008, then this, and then this This file here is the actual um, XCX menu. And these are just the folders it goes in. So next, you want to open up Horizon. Um, I'll put a link to their website um, where you. Well, not sure if their website, but I'll put a link to a website where you can download it. And yeah, right. So once you've done this, open it up. You should find that it will auto load the flash drive. So what you want to do now is just. I believe you can just drag and drop. Uh, nope, you can't. That's my bad. You can't drag and drop. Okay, so what you want to do is click on to it's not gay well what you want to do is open up code 999 down to here and drag this file in and you see horizon recognizes it as xcx menu 1.2 which is lovely that's what we want uh, it's got no profile id or device id or console id at the moment um, so what we want to do is just want to click save to device flash drive give it a minute because what it has to do is create these two folders that it goes inside because they're not in the drive normally you could manually inject these folders but it's just I'm trying to show you the easiest way of doing things so um, it's easier just to let it do it itself so we're just gonna wait for it to do this Loading bar down here shouldn't take too long. Don't be concerned about the console ID or device ID being zero, all zeros, um, because it will still work. This is a JTAG we're working with, or RGH we're working with here, so the IDs don't matter. 
Uh, so it says it's transferred successfully. To check to see if it's transferred successfully, just in this scroll down menu, look at demos, it should be in here. And there you go, XCX menu 1.2 game demo, that's what we want. So that's fine, uh, you can exit out of Horizon now, it, XCX menu is now on your USB stick. So unplug it and plug it back into your Xbox and we'll just go back over to the Xbox and show you what to do from there. Alright guys, so we're back onto the Xbox now. Just sync my controller up. Right, so uh, what you want to do now is plug in your USB stick into your Xbox. I think I might have just said that when I was on a PC, but anyway, uh, go to System, Storage, Memory Unit, Demos, and there it is, XCX Menu. So you can just run this off the USB stick, but I wouldn't recommend it because you're going to be removing the USB stick a lot to transfer files and stuff on your JTAG. So what I would recommend is you move it or copy it, either one. I prefer to move it because I'm not going to keep it on the memory stick. Uh, move it to the hard drive. Give it a little minute. Right, so now we go to the hard drive and check to make sure it's copied over. There it is, it's in the demos. So now we can go over to our My Games and there's XCX Menu 1.2 in there. So let's start it up and see if it works. And there we go. Okay, so maybe I lied. I don't have, I haven't removed everything from the console back to stock well basically what it was I didn't want to delete all my games because that would take ages um, but yeah anyway here it is loading up fine um, you can change the skins here um, you can press the use the right uh, the d-pad sorry to change and then just press A to confirm the change and it will change the skin um, I wouldn't mess around with any of the other things because um, there's one th value that you, I think it's the auto scaling. If you change that, you can end up it, having it really zoomed in or zoomed out, or it's not good. So, but you can change the skin to like a range of different skins. So anyway, guys, that's uh, that's it. That's how you the easiest way, in my opinion, to install XCX Menu 1.2. I hope you've enjoyed. If you liked the video, please leave a like, um, leave a comment if you've got any questions, and. Um, I'll hopefully see you in uh, JTAG Tutorials Episode 2, which, by the way, will be installing um, Freestyle Dash, uh, because that's another big big thing that you should have installed. And um, following on from that, we'll probably do Dash Launch. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please stay tuned to my, into my next video. This is really how we live.